Hey guys and welcome back to The Family Fudge. I'm Jennifer and today I'm very excited to be doing a challenge that I've been wanting to do for a while and that is the $5 Goodwill Challenge, so come along with me. Okay guys, now it is just past 5 o'clock so I don't have a lot of time but I'm super excited to do this challenge, number one, because I love the thrift store and number two is I get to go alone and have any kids with me so I can kind of look at everything I'd like to look at within reason, I don't have a lot of time. But I'm gonna take you guys along with me, I'll show you anything interesting that I find but I only have $5 to spend while I'm there. So when I get back, maybe to the car or to my house, I will show you what I ended up with. Oh yeah, you guys, before I head out, make sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, and give this video a big thumbs up if you like thrift stores. Now we can go. Okay guys, so I just made it to the Goodwill, and it doesn't look super crowded, which I am always a fan of, um, but I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. I know I'm not looking for any clothes today. Um, I mainly wanna look in the home decor section, the kitchen section, and maybe the organization section if they have one. I'm not quite sure. So let's head on in and I'll show you around. Now I know I said I wasn't looking for clothes, but check out these swimsuits. These are brand new from Target for only $5.99. And these would fit my girls perfectly. How cute. I definitely want to check out the frame. Sometimes you can find awesome frames for such a good deal. And I especially love the message on this one. Look at all the figurines and statues. Some of these are really funny. I would not buy them, but they're fun to look at. Ooh, check out this ceramic Christmas tree. Now this doesn't have lights. I kind of wish it did, but it's only $3.99. Not a bad deal. Pretty cute. I think this blue vase is really pretty, but it's marked $5.99 over the budget. I'm actually kind of surprised. Some of these items are priced kind of high. Let's see what else we can find. I'm definitely hunting for the kitchen section. I love some kitchen gadgets. Now this candle holder looks really interesting. It might be perfect for Halloween and it's under $5. So maybe I'll end up with this one. Or there's this guy. It's a green decorative metal bucket. This would be really pretty with some flowers and it's only $2.99. Maybe that could work. Check out this bowl, you guys. It looks like something my mother would have had when I was a kid. And this is actually stoneware, so it's a really good quality. But again, it's $5.99, so over the budget. Ooh, it's made in Japan. That's awesome. Now these look interesting. They are actually molds to make cookies that are shaped like fingers and bones, which is kind of odd, but maybe perfect for Halloween lots and lots of cups and glasses so many cups but I don't need any of those these blue ones were really pretty but surprisingly they were actually plastic I was expecting for them to be glass only 49 cents I think this soap looks really strange look at the little penguin this oversized mason jar is awesome, but again, it's $5.99 over the budget. I know they have these at Hobby Lobby for twice that though. Look at this cute little cookie jar, but again, it's $5.99. Everything's over the $5 budget. This is definitely a challenge. Now this has to be one of the most unique items that I found. This is a bacon bowl maker so you can take your bacon and shape it into a bowl for things like mac and cheese or salads but you could also put bread dough in there and make like a dessert cup or a bread bowl that is very interesting it looks like something my brother john might enjoy now this is really cool this is a cupcake stand 
Look at those fun cupcakes. But you can also do cake pops. I love making cupcakes and cake pops, so this would be awesome. But again, it's $5.99. Check out these wooden signs. We have an at sign, that's really cute, and a hashtag. Cute, but I definitely don't need anything like that. Check it out, we have some party poppers. I love these. I usually buy these around Christmas time and I like to share them with my family around our Christmas dinner table. These are so fun. They're full of little toys and a paper hat. Ooh, now this is definitely catching my eye, probably because it looks brand new. This is a chip and dip set. That looks really nice. Check it out guys, I found something with Mickey on it. This is a picture frame and it's really cute. And it's only $2.99, definitely a contender. I could totally take this home with me. Now this is definitely over the budget, but it's something my girls would love. This is a wooden wardrobe. It's $39.99, I don't know if that's a great price, but this is for the American Girl size dolls. Check out these bins, you guys. They are filled with things from the Target dollar spot. This little sign was $3 and now it's only 69 cents. And these are actually all brand new items from Target and never used. Now here's another really strange find. This is a game called Who's the Dude? And it comes with a blow up doll and you're supposed to play charades with this doll, which is really strange. It's $5.99, I definitely don't need something like this. And it says for ages 16 and over, so it may be a little bit inappropriate. Check out all of the new clothes. These are brand new, never worn, from Target. These are the Massimo brand. And they're not super cheap, still almost $10, but they are brand new. Here's a pack of brand new curtains, also from Target. These are usually really expensive. Marked down to $12.99. That's probably half off at least. That's a really good deal. They have several different colors and varieties. But I don't need curtains today. Okay guys, so I just finished up at the Goodwill and as I'm editing this, I'm gonna have to voice over the shopping part because even though there weren't very many people in the store, it was still really loud. They had fans going and kids screaming. Let's just say there was a little girl named Mariah who really didn't want to go shopping at the Goodwill tonight and her mom did not want her to be there either. It was, it was kind of loud. Let me just tell you this right now. I have failed the $5 challenge. Failed. Which means I went over budget. And I went over budget because I really wasn't finding a whole lot that I really loved for a good price. I was a little surprised on how high the prices were compared to where I normally shop and that's the DI which is a different thrift store. So the prices were a little bit high. There was definitely no um, combining items. I couldn't get more than one item for sure. Almost everything I liked was over five dollars but that's okay you know the money that you spend at Goodwill goes to a good cause. But I'm not about spending money just about just to spend money. It's got to be something that I would definitely um, like and use. Oh yes, and they really didn't have very much um, as far as holiday decor. There weren't a lot of um, kitchen items to choose from. So I picked out something that I actually really like, but it was over budget, you guys. It was $6.99, so not a lot over budget, but it's definitely a fail because I was supposed to spend $5. So, but I'll go ahead and show it to you. Let's see if I can show it to you here. It is the chip and dip platter. And you guys, this is brand new in the box, never been used. And this just looks really fun for a party. I could just see putting this out on my buffet and my family members coming over and just chowing down, but it probably wouldn't be full of veggies. If it was my party, it'd probably be full of chips and, and salsa and maybe some guacamole, something like that. So yeah, $6.99 for a brand new dish isn't too bad. Um, but yeah, that's what I ended up with. So you guys, thank you for joining me today for this 
Goodwill $5 challenge that I have officially failed, although I'm really happy with my choice. I think I'll definitely use it. Now, if you'd like to do this challenge, um, you just have to go to any thrift store. It doesn't have to be the Goodwill and find something that you love for $5 or less. And as you can tell, I'm losing my sunlight. That is it for the day. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And now that I'm done here, I'm going to run by Target real quick. See you next time.